The real estate market is frozen and I'm going to tell you what that means. Hi, I'm Gordon Hegman, Arizona One Real Estate at Real, a local real estate agent here in the Phoenix area. And I am going to share with you three things on this video today. First of all, what it means by the market is frozen. I'm going to touch a little bit on foreclosures and also what an upcoming recession could do to your home values. And then I'm going to share some market statistics. All right, let's jump into it. What do I mean by a frozen market? Well, as you know, in about from 2007 to 2009, home values crashed, making homes extremely affordable. So we had a lot of people from 2009 to about, let's say 2020, buy homes. And I'm speaking specifically here in the Phoenix area where I am located at very affordable prices. Over that time, home values did increase nicely. And let's leave out 2020, 2021 for the purpose of what I am talking about. So in the meantime, these home owners, they bought these homes, home prices escalated. Uh, so during that time, they were paying down mortgage principal. And then as we all know, when 2020 came around the pandemic, 2021 interest rates went way down to what I call the unicorn years, historic lows. So you have these homeowners who basically bought these very affordable houses, paid down some of their, uh, payments towards their loan balances, then refinanced into some insanely low prices. Well, these homeowners have pretty nice size houses in great areas with a lot of attributes that they like. Then they refinance. So their monthly payments are extremely low. So what we're seeing right now, and I get it, interest rates are high. That does have a lot to do with what's happening in the market. But the market is frozen because you have a lot of homeowners that actually just won't sell because of the fact that they live in a great home with a really low payment. So that is why we are not seeing a lot of homes hitting the market. And that is one thing that is affecting the market insanely right now. All right, the second point I really want to share because this is still a huge topic of conversation with my friends, my sphere, clients that I'm talking with at open houses or on the phone. So many people are still waiting for foreclosure, this big foreclosure wave to come. And yes, while foreclosures are up, considering where they're at, considering where we were at pre-pandemic levels, foreclosures are still at all time lows. So when you're seeing things in the news about foreclosures ticking up, you'll usually see them talking in a matter of percentages. And when we went from almost no foreclosures because of all of the rules and laws that were kind of put into place by the government to even a small amount, that percentage sounds huge. But the grand scheme of things, there is not a foreclosure wave. And currently, there is absolutely nothing statistically out there showing that foreclosures are even coming um, at any big mass amount that are going to affect home values. Also, a lot of people don't realize is that right now, homeowners are sitting on a huge amount of home equity, many as far, you know, up to about 50 to 60% home equity. And what a lot of people also don't know is that so many people actually owned their homes outright. They don't even have a loan, so there is no way to foreclose. So with that being said, with a recession coming um, and the fact that uh, so many of these homeowners have so much equity, we're not going to see this huge drop in value from either one of those. And actually, statistically, if you look at, I think the past five recessions, most of, in most of those recessions, we actually saw home values increase uh, with one of those in 2000 with a very slight decrease. And then obviously the one we all know about with a huge decrease, but keep in mind that recession was caused by real estate. So that's why there's that huge drop. So when you hear the word recession, don't get scared because uh, most of the recessions, we actually see home values increase, while be it maybe at a slower rate, we are not seeing the uh, catastrophic drop off that we had during the last recession. And then lastly, what we share every week, just to make sure you know what's going on. Here are this week's market statistics.
Hey, if you're watching this video and you have any real estate questions, I have your back. Send me a text message at 480-498-3334. Hey, like every week, I hope you're getting a ton of value out of this video and everything that we share. So please subscribe to our channel here. And then also this video that we put together, I think will have some awesome information that you'll want to check out.